question four. So remember your approach here, you're just trying to end up with one term on the left and the right and have them both being in the terms of log to the base five so they can basically, um, you can just then look at the numerical values of what is log to the base five. So uh, first thing to note is from the power rule we can take this two upstairs. So that second term becomes log x squared to the power uh, to the base five. Now, from the subtraction rule, these two terms can be simplified to being this on the left-hand side. When we're taking away, we divide. So, a single term log to the base 5. Now, remember, um, 1, any number, um, can well, 1 equals log 5 to the base 5, or log 6 to the base 6, or what have you. So, in order to get the right-hand side also being log to the base 5, just replace the 1 with log 5 to the base 5. That should be a 5. So both terms are now log to the base 5 something, log to the base 5 something. So effectively we're cancelling out the log bit, so we're saying this equals this. So this is now no longer a log problem, logs have gone. So just normal algebra, multiply by x squared, uh, take it all to the one side, gives us a quadratic which we can solve and factorize. So factorizing we get this, giving us x values of 4 over 5 and minus 1. Now x is between 0 and 4, so the only solution we require is x is 4 over 5 or 0 0.8.